Okay, hey everybody, Allegra here, and I wanted to show you something really quick. <laughs> okay, first of all, I like to drink nettle tea because we have lots of nettles around here, and if I can get vitamins and minerals from it for free, basically, I'm gonna do that. So normally when I brew some nettle tea, it's like a like a mint tea color. You know, it's like a light greenish maybe like a, a brownish light green, you know, just like you put a, a mint uh, or a green tea bag in a cup of water. But I left the nettle leaves in the pot of water. I did kind of a bigger pot, so I did like four cups or something and just a big bushel of or a big handful of nettles. And I left it in there for a couple of days and it made this just really condensed dark green. It's like it's super super dark and I just wanted to show that to you smooth not really now it's it's a very earthy it's it tastes like nettles but I swear every time I drink it I feel like I've just uh, flushed my body with all of these awesome awesome uh, nutrients so nutrients it's kind of a weird word anyway been a while since I've made a video so I wanted to update you all on what's been going on here at the homestead and then I want to share with you some artwork that I'm working on and I will uh, I'll print it onto a card that will be available for my card of the month club for patreon if any of you are interested in joining the card of the month club I will put a link below and basically you get a greeting card every single month. And um, if you are a person that likes to send greeting cards, this is a great way to keep your collection up. And it's all original artwork by moi. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. So let's, let's look around and see what's going on here. Uh, it's been, well, here, I'm gonna turn the camera around and take you on a little tour. Okay, right now I'm in the upper part of the garden that I started last year. So we laid cardboard everywhere. We covered it with soil and straw and it's now doing really well. I'm just gonna kind of show you behind me. It's kind of hard to see on video, but the beds are getting going. There's really not that much weeding that we had have to do. It's been an unusually cold spring. So things are still a little small. So I'll, I'll show you all more of that as time progresses. I have my little hoop house here that I'm, I've been running tomatoes and peppers back and forth between my studio, this hoop house, and then another greenhouse down the way. And, you know, I started my, my <laughs> tomatoes in February. So I've been doing this since February, running them back and forth every single day. And there were a lot of them. And halfway through, I was like, I need to quit, and, but I couldn't. It's like, I have a problem now. I have, I have these tomatoes and peppers that I have to serve, you know, they have to survive now. And uh, I'm glad I stuck through it, but oh my gosh, next year I'm building a, um, like a, a heated compost and I'll put my seedlings on top of that so that I don't have to run back and forth. But anyway, got some of those, the fruits of my labor going on here. Some tomatoes, cucumbers, Peppers called, well, the peppers aren't in here, they're in the other one, but I'm starting some basil and um, things that we are going to be using here for food and things that I'm going to be selling at our farm stand. So I'm really excited about that. I will take you down and show you that. Maybe I'll film a little bit of that tomorrow. Um, do y'all remember Janice? Well, Janice the Scarecrow. I had to take her down because I moved a post and I haven't put her back up yet. She's super heavy, but we'll take care of that. So let's go this way. Um, here, I'm going to turn the So camera. the garden has expanded quite a bit. I have a cardboard area that I'm expanding my no dig. So that will be a place that we plant more. And now we have fencing that goes all the way down here. So this area was not fenced in last year. And uh, that is going to expand the garden tremendously. Really excited about that. I forgot, this morning my children and I went outside and we saw an owl. There have been owls around, but we're finally getting into major owl season now. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm going to take you to some video of that. So here we go.
Okay, you hear that sound? Yeah. Is that the owl? Those are the robins. They're mad. What are they mad? Because an owl, if you look up in the cedar tree right here, up on the branch way up high, there's an owl. And the robins are dive bombing it. They're flying at it and hitting it because they're mad. Why are they mad? Well, I believe the owl either got too close to their nest or maybe got one of their eggs or one of their ate one of their little baby robins. So the robins, that's what the owls are trying to do anyway. So when a robin sees an owl, they get mad and they try to scare it away and they, they hit it and snap. Yep. Mm-hmm. And jump on it and kill it? Well, I don't know if they jump on it and kill it, but they certainly go after it. So when you hear these robins, if you're if, talking to the audience here, if you are out in the forest, hold on. Anyway, if you're out in the woods and you hear robins like that, that's the sound. That's the that's the excited, angry, agitated sound that they make, and they start going after the owls like that. So just look up. Okay. And you'll probably see something. Anyway, it's always good to see the owls again. And here is a little ode to them. My little owl scarecrow here at the garden. I'm really hoping to make more of these really soon. Let's go see our chickens. I'm going to walk over here. So we're in the garden. And walking right across. Of course. Go for it. So right over here, whoops, got caught up. Got our cabin down there and right up the hill, we have this little grazing area for our hens and rooster and they're doing great. All of our hens are doing amazingly well. One of them is broody, so let's go visit her. So we're gonna check the nesting box here. Okay, we got a few eggs and then this girl, she has just been so dedicated. She's got two eggs under there that I marked. So. And then of course my studio is being used as a chick nursery again. Welcome to our new little additions. Oops. These little girls here, they're growing so fast. They are, they were sold as Americana. So I know that at least two of them are pure Americana, but I kind of think that one of them might be a cream leg bar. The place where I got them, they had the cream leg bar with them. The one on the right, I believe is a, a cream leg bar. So, um, you know, they didn't know for sure. It was a, unfortunately, I think this is the last year I'm going to buy from a feed store because these poor little little hens go through so much and I actually bought four and one of them died the next day so it, it's very stressful for these little little hens to go through all the shipping and everything but anyway I do believe one is a cream leg bar and the other two are Americana which will be cool because our rooster is a, a Americana as well so not only will we be getting green blue shades of eggs from these girls but if we do decide to breed them we can have some purebred americana chicks to keep or sell before we move on i just want to show you this quick project well i quickly want to show you this not so quick project i'm working on um okay so i have those cardboard boxes there i'm still kind of milling through them but as you can see, the ground level is up high here, and then it's down low here. And in between, it's just kind of this really difficult um, jumble of weeds and logs from a tree that my husband cut down a couple years ago. And he was able to section it off for the most part, but then I gave birth and we were completely swamped with two children. and. It just got neglected. So I'm going to turn this little patch into kind of like a hugel culture 
uh, section in a way. I mean, it's really just kind of landfill, but there's lots of old rotten logs. I threw some sticks in there and now I'm covering it with cardboard. I'm gonna take some of that tape off there here in a minute and cover this whole thing here so that it'll be more of a gradual slope. There'll still be a drop off over here. That's fine. I just wanna be able to use this land and I will be taking, I'm already filling in with dirt. Um, we'll go over here. The hole is right over there by that purple ball and white bucket. I'm taking dirt from this section because this is going to turn into a root cellar. So I'm just gonna excavate from here. Right now I'm just doing it by hand at some point. We're hoping to get a backhoe in here, but right now I'm just doing it with a shovel and a wheelbarrow. Okay, back in the studio, got the little ladies back in their brooder here. It got it started to rain, so brought them in. But I just wanted to show you all really quick this preliminary sketch that I'm working on for the artwork that will be available for a card for the month of June. I am working on a series of drawings and I have been for a really long time, but I'm collecting them and hopefully I'll be able to put them into a book soon, but it's pretty much a story about our lives here. And this is just a little idea I had about how I've spent the last couple of months. It's hard to see, but because uh, I just have some sketch and then I started adding a little bit of watercolor, but it's basically telling the story of me walking between our studio and the greenhouse every single day, transporting the tomatoes and peppers and what is going on in my head. I think the thought bubbles need to like almost be like balloons that are like pushing against each other because I swear I was thinking about so many different things and I am all the time because there's so many projects going on around here at all times and it is quite difficult to focus on one at a time. So that will be, um, hopefully I want to have this drawing ready in the next few days. And so by the next video, you'll see that finished and then um, I'll get it printed out really quick and send out the card for the patrons for the month of June. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching and I can't wait to show you the garden and the yard in the next video. It's looking awesome. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.